Hey guys, it's Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a simple high growth oil that you can add to your regimen to treat baldness. It will help you with grow hair in bald areas, bald patches, or if your hair is thinning out or falling out, or perhaps if you've lost your edges. This is the oil that you definitely want to make sure that you use because it will help you grow your hair in those areas a lot faster. And also it will help you get thicker hair really nice and fast. Now this recipe has been tried and tested and it definitely works 100%. And I do hope that you watch the video and you watch till the end so you can see all of the steps and also the instructions on how to use it. So let's hop right into it without wasting too much time. So you are going to need some fresh aloe vera leaf, just like the one that I'm using here. Now here in the UK, it's pretty easy to find aloe vera. I don't know what it is like in other parts of the world, but if you do struggle to find aloe vera like this in your area, maybe check Amazon. You might be able to find some that you can even grow in your house. So essentially after I washed my aloe vera, I just used a, a paper towel just to remove the excess water essentially. And I'm just cutting it here into smaller pieces. Now aloe vera is great for our hair. Now if you do have thin areas, board patches, you're losing hair, you definitely want to use aloe vera guys, it works 100%. Now aloe vera helps to stimulate hair growth, it also helps to condition your hair, so the hair that is growing out essentially does not break and that's what allows you to see length over time. And also it helps with a healthy scalp. Sometimes if your hair is falling out, you, it may be better to just look at how your scalp is as well. Scalp health is very very important to hair growth in general. So after that guys, we are going to go in with some rosemary. Now I'm using fresh rosemary. Rosemary is great at preventing baldness. It helps to stimulate new hair growth in balding areas. Um, it does that by stimulating scalp circulation. So it just increases the blood flow to the scalp area. So it's really, really good for regrowing bald patches to get you thicker hair and longer hair a lot faster. So... I added about two bunch of it or sort of yeah basically now I'm going in here with some coconut oil now if you are to use coconut oil guys I suggest that you use raw extra virgin and possibly organic coconut oil because that's still full of its nutrients now if you do not have coconut oil it's fine to use the next oil that I'm going to show you later on but I suggest that you do use both together um, but it's okay to use only grapeseed oil if you do not have coconut oil. So I added about two tablespoons. I'm not quite sure guys, but you can alter these quantities based on your preference. It doesn't really matter. So essentially, I'm now going to go in with some grapeseed oil. Now, grapeseed oil is also amazing for our hair guys. It really helps to strengthen your hair. Uh, people with sort of weak, damaged or brittle hair should definitely consider using grapeseed oil because it will give your hair strength and it will also make your hair nice and thick. It also helps to promote healthy hair growth. It increases moisture in the hair. It gives your hair shine and also it helps to stimulate hair growth. So I added a bit of that as well. I'm not quite sure of the quantities guys, but like I said, please alter this based on your preference and also the quantity of the aloe vera and rosemary that you will be using. Now, I prefer to use these two oils because we will be applying a bit of heat to this. So it's better that if you are looking for substitutes for these oils, that you use something that is heat resistant. I suggest that you stick to this exact recipe guys because it works wonders. So essentially, we're just gonna pop it on the stove and just allow it to sort of fry for just about less than five minutes honestly it doesn't take very long at all you know it's done when your aloe vera has turned from that bright green color to like a darker green color and also your rosemary has also changed in color so essentially i'm just going to transfer this to this jar it's better you let this cool down guys but for the purpose of this video 
I like to just start recording and just finish it all at once um, just saves me time but it's better you let this cool down pop it in a jar and then you're gonna go ahead and let this sit for another two days now the reason why you're letting it sit for another two days is so that it can infuse a little bit more so I'm just gonna shut the jar and just let it sit somewhere warm in my house Okay guys, so after two days have gone by, we're now going to go ahead and separate the oil from the aloe vera and rosemary. So you can just do this by just pouring the oil into like a, a little container that you may have and just, you know, leave the rest of the stuff in the jar essentially. Okay guys, so we are going to use some preservatives just in case we still have some water left in this. Now you shouldn't have water or if you do, shouldn't be a lot of water. Um, so we're just putting some preservatives in here just in case and this is just to increase the shelf life of this oil. Um, so for this quantity of oil, I used about two drops of preservatives um, so stir that in nicely now you can also add some essential oils if you do have them um, rosemary essential oil is a really good one peppermint tea tree essential even lavender essential oil are really really good alternatives that you can add to this oil if you do have them so essentially stir that all in and then you're now going to go ahead and transfer it to a little jar or whatever you normally use to keep your um, your oils it just makes it a bit easier to use as well so I'm transferring it here to this little mason jar which I'm gonna use um, to to keep and that's pretty much it now this oil is definitely definitely the bomb like you need to try this out guys if, especially if you do have uh, bald patches or perhaps thin hair or your hair is falling out a lot you definitely want to try this out and trust me you will definitely see results if you are consistent with it now stick with me I'm going to show you how to use it and also the best way that you can use it to reap results now I knew this works because I gave this to a friend of mine who was just going through postnatal shedding she had literally lost all her edges and she was like Vanessa what can I do what can I use can you make me a little something and this is the oil that I made for her and trust me Within two months, her edges were back to being full again. Like, it works like magic. And I do hope that you give this a go, guys. So essentially, I'm just doing like a little moisturize and seal routine here. My hair has been kind of washed. Um, so it just needs some type of moisture and also a bit of detangling. So I'm using one of my DIY sprays that I've made. Um, there, there is a video coming up on that, um, you know, soon after this one or maybe before this. I'm not sure. Um, so you just want to spray that on your hair and then I'm using this kind to leave in conditioner just for extra um, sort of moisture and definition because I wanted to go for a twist out um, later on so I just want a bit more definition in my hair and that's why I'm using that now we'll be going in here next with the oil and notice guys I'm applying this to my scalp I'm massaging scalp massages are great at increasing the blood flow um to your scalp in general which again nourishes your follicles so really really good now you don't necessarily have to use this oil in the way that i am using it in this part of the video it just happened that i needed to moisturize and seal my hair now you can simply just apply it to the area that needs a bit of help so if you've lost hair in certain areas just apply it there massage that in and leave it in your hair guys do not wash this out now i suggest that you use this twice a week okay guys so essentially apply to the area that needs a bit of help or if you just need thickness in your hair in general apply over your whole scalp essentially 
and also the rest of your hair just like you can see me do here and essentially like i said just leave it in now it is very very important that you're consistent with whatever you're doing guys if you're not consistent you are not going to see results okay so consistency is what brings results um, so I suggest that you try to be as consistent as you can possibly be. I know sometimes we don't remember to do things, not because, you know, we don't want to do them, but just because we just forget. Um, but if you're really serious about growing that, that bold area or perhaps, you know, getting your hair thicker, then you need to be consistent with your regimen, essentially. So it's very, very simple to do. Just like I said, just follow this and I promise you, your hair will grow and those areas will start to fill up much quicker than you ever thought so essentially i'm just repeating that throughout the rest of my hair guys so the exact same thing that i did earlier so use a bit of my spray then went in with the leave-in conditioner and then the oil to my scalp and the rest of my hair and then i'm just detangling and then after that i'm just going to twist and move on until the rest of my hair is completely done um so this is pretty much it for me today guys i do hope that you've enjoyed watching the video and if you did, please, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Also share. I know there's somebody else out there that probably needs this video. So please share it. Also subscribe to the channel, guys, if you're not already. I would love to have you around and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.